Welcome back to The Daily Mix. I'm your host, Gina Cheatham, a.k.a. The Clever Connoisseur, your budget-friendly luxury lifestyle specialist. And although it was a bit chilly this past weekend, I had a blast. I had a chance to meet up with St. Louis native Charlene Dennis Shelby, owner and head jewelry designer for Fabulina Design. She was recently featured in Jezebel Modern Luxury Magazine as one of Atlanta's emerging elite as a result of her highly, highly successful handcrafted Bohemian Sheet Jewelry Design Company. And according to Charlene, each piece isn't ready until it's fabulous. And uh, check this out. I got this from Charlene while she was here. Isn't this cute? I love it. Thank you, Charlene, and happy birthday to you, girlfriend. Yes, all the way from St. Louis. And just in case she didn't take me up on my word last week regarding the bizarre 2015 Vendors event, let's just say you missed a great event. Not only was there a great turnout, if you're a shopper like me, there were tons of vendors for you to shop. From local fashion boutiques to hair care product developers, people were busy purchasing and partaking in all of the affordable luxuries. It goes without saying, I definitely enjoyed myself. And in speaking of enjoying myself, tonight's show is all about home, design, and other enjoyable events around town that support local visionaries, vintage markets, fun ways to eat, Ooh, eat, and more. Our special guest tonight is Daniel Linka, communication and interior design manager at, you guessed it, Ikea. Their grand store opening was last week, and the preview I went to was amazing. I can't wait to tell you all about it later in the show. Make sure you stick around. This is a show you don't want to miss. It's time to get in the mix. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Susan G. Coleman St. Louis is hosting their 7th annual Coleman St. Louis Dine Out for the Cure on Thursday, October 8th. Help them fight breast cancer one bite at a time by dining out for breakfast, lunch, and or dinner at participating restaurants and food trucks throughout the St. Louis metro area. Participating restaurants agree to donate up to 50% of the day's proceeds to the cause. Since the inaugural Dine Out event in 2009, more than 500 restaurants have raised over $450,000 and all the donated proceeds benefit local life-saving breast health and cancer services funded by Susan G. Coleman. From now until October 9th, diners who post their dine out photos on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag ComanSTLDine, along with the restaurant name, you will have a chance to win a restaurant gift card. Visit ComanStLouis.org for a list of participating restaurants, food trucks, hours of service, and more. Ooh, that sounds fun, and I love to eat, and it's even better when I'm eating for a cause. Now, starting on Friday and ending Saturday, Vintage Market Days is coming to St. Louis at the Chesterfield Amphitheater. Featured in Country Living Magazine, the upscale vintage-inspired outdoor market is listed as one of the seven flea markets and barn sales not to miss in 2015. Take a look at their stop in Tulsa. As you see, St. Louis Vintage Market Days are more than just a flea market. Each event is a unique opportunity for vendors to display their talents and passions in creative ways, and I'm all about that. Attendees can expect to find original art, antiques, handmade treasures, home decor, outdoor furnishings, clothing, jewelry, and of course, consumable yummies. Ah, 
I'm all about it. For more information, make sure you visit their website. Ah, oh, you know anytime I get a chance to shop and eat, a girl is happy, yay! Now, if you're more into the bartering sort of thing, then you don't wanna miss the St. Louis Swap Meet every Sunday from 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Limp Brewery. Readers of the Riverfront Times voted it the best of the STL this year. From antiques to crafts, clothing, fresh produce, handmade goods, and live music, they have everything you need for a good time, including, you guessed it, food trucks! Founders Martin Casas and Chris Geeden recently told Feast Magazine that the market is an opportunity for small businesses to incubate before opening brick and mortar stores. For farmers markets vendors to also sell an extra day and for 4,000 or so thrifters to come to the market where varied offerings surprise everyone each week and they eat and find they're truly one of a kind. For more information about participating vendors, parking details and more, go to their website. Ooh, I've got a lot of stuff to do during the weekends. I never realized all of this was going on. Do y'all? Well, you'll catch me there. And another event featuring handcrafted goods and vintage items where you might catch me too is Craft Oktoberfest, Indie Handmade Market Night, next Thursday, October 15th. Mm -hmm. It's from 4 to 10 p.m. and is St. Louis's first lantern-lit outdoor night market featuring local beer, live music, and some of the best jewelry, artwork, and furniture our city has to offer. I'm gonna be broke. There'll be over 35 local makers, artists, and purveyors of vintage goods along with live music by Arson for Candy. And if you're into astrology, there'll be a tarot card reader there. Her name is Ellen. So yes, get your tarot card reading courtesy of Tarot's by Ellen, as well as some tasty vegetarian eats by Lulu's local eatery. Ooh, my director would love that. Well, if it sounds good to you, check out their website for more information. Ah, oh, she's always talking about vegetarian food, and I'm just like, just come with me and get some Swedish meatballs. She's like, no, Gina. So I said, I'm gonna get you some chocolate. You'll love it. If you enjoy country music with a little bit of flavor, where you want to be is right where I'm about to tell you. I'm a bit of a foodie and I also like movies on occasion. However, anytime I get a chance to watch a movie and eat a full course meal, I'm all about it. No, I'm not talking about AMC where you get those finger foods. I'm talking about a full course movie and a full course meal. Sound interesting to you? It definitely does to me. Let's find out more. What I try to do for a standard film is, is really plot out about five to six courses for a standard film. And we're looking for courses about every 15 to 20 minutes. We are cooking here at Myers Grove Live. That is such an important ingredient to how we do things. Um, because you can smell the food cooking, which is so important to me. Um, and then when it hits your taste buds, because you've already heard it cooking, you can hear us plating, see us plating, smell everything, that's, that's the visceral experience. So it would make, for me, no sense to prep everything so much in advance that you know, you're not getting that experience. <laughs> Did y'all catch that earlier? A full course movie. Well, that's something new I made up, but be there and you will check it out. Along with Theater of Blood, which is the horror film being screened this Saturday, October 10th, starring Vincent Price, who once lived on Forsyth Boulevard, just south of Washington University. I bet you didn't know that. And the menu is inspired by the 50th anniversary reissue of the best-selling cookbook Price wrote with his wife, A Treasury of Great Recipes. And... I bet you didn't know this. Well, I'm telling you, the guest of honor will be Vincent Price's daughter, Victoria Price, who's also hosting the event, and the cookbook will be available for sale and signed by her. For more information and to purchase your tickets, visit TenaciousEats.com. Oh, wow. That's a lot of food. Oh, but it looks so good. I'm so excited. I hope I see you there. Well. Here's a reminder to all of you local interior designers, architects, artisans, builders, and landscapers out there watching. October 16th is the deadline for the ninth annual St. Louis at Home Architect and Designer Awards 2016. And new for 2016 is more categories, an easy online entry process, and a star-studded panel of judges representing all areas of design, including 
home, outdoor, interior, commercial, oh, they've got it all. Finalists will be notified in January of next year and winners will be featured in the March-April 2016 issue of St. Louis at Home. Go to stlmag.com to check out last year's winners and download the information packet to enter. You know what? Food and fun are always mixed. Am I right? At least for me. Whether it's watching a film and eating, shopping and eating, or just eating, food always adds another layer of excitement, at least for me. That's all I'm saying. And that's why you need to go to the event STL Living, a modern tour and tasting on October 24th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Presented by Alive Magazine and Mosby Building Arts, the tour will include a journey through the St. Louis area, viewing five of the city's most beautiful and unique living spaces. You'll engage with the designers who remodeled the spaces, in addition to being inspired, collecting a few ideas, and taking part in exciting giveaways. And nothing makes an event better than sipping on a cocktail and nibbling on a few hors d'oeuvres. That's all included in a VIP ticket along with transportation and adorable little swag bag. Reserve your tickets now for more information. Locate the event name on eventbrite.com. Oh my gosh, I love to eat, I really do. And that's why I have to keep working out because if I don't, oh my gosh, I won't be able to fit in these little pants right here. Uh -huh. So at any rate, you know what time it is for me. It's my favorite segment of the show when we celebrate you by saying happy birthday, starting with Miss Leslie Remsen. Happy birthday, Leslie, looking all cute and whatnot. I love your hair, of course I do. And Mr. Roosevelt Jones. Happy birthday, Roosevelt. Enjoy your day. And one of my favorite people with the most beautiful smile ever, Reggie McNeil. Happy birthday to you, Reggie. And ladies, I brought you a little eye candy tonight. Happy birthday, Rico Demo. Yes, he is the fashion model with the mostest. Happy birthday to you. And as you might be aware, this past weekend, the downtown streets were packed with other people celebrating. People who were all walking in support of breast cancer survivors, their families and friends, mothers and daughters, and men alike. However, there are a special group of men currently on the screen who have vowed to stand together in their efforts to help fight the battle and find a cure. And according to them, real men wear pink. Uh, to real men wear pink. Formed in 2013, we are a group of African-American men who are longtime friends with various professional backgrounds. We've all been successful in our fields, and we're determined to be successful at giving back. We are fueled by the belief that we can make a difference in the lives of the women in our community. Our mission statement is to raise awareness of breast cancer in the community, to donate funds to those who are battling breast cancer, to support scientists and researchers in their effort to determine definitive causes of breast cancer, so that effective detection, diagnosis, prevention, and treatment can be pursued and achieved. Did you know that 40,000 women will die of breast cancer this year? Over 200,000 will be diagnosed. So please, do us a favor. Use this month, October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, to go get checked out. It's important. It's a matter of life or death. Now, let me tell you how important it is that you support this next event because a couple of years ago, I had my own um, breast cancer scare and at the time I didn't have insurance. As a result of organizations like this, I was able to get the help that I needed and thank God I pulled through and everything was, on, on, um, was okay. And on Friday, October 23rd, you'll have an opportunity to give back to one such program. Real Men Wear Pink will be hosting their last event of the year, the second annual Night of Music and Comedy to raise funds for women who are currently battling breast cancer. And the first breast cancer survivor who sends me an email sharing their story and perhaps an encouraging word to inspire someone else to fight and win the battle will win two free tickets to the event. Send your story to jabberwithgina at stltv.net and let us celebrate you. And since we're in the mode of celebrating tonight, our guest is Daniel Linka from IKEA to talk about design, Swedish meatballs, and more. Now, we're more than ready to redecorate, refresh, and renew our homes for the fall and winter. So, welcome to the stage, Mr. Daniel Linka. Thank you. Come on out here. <laughs> Yay! 
Yay, <laughs> St. Louis has an Ikea now. <laughs> Woo -hoo. And you. speaking of which, what made the grand opening here different than any other city that you've ever been involved with, other than the helicopters? <laughs> Besides the helicopters, I think it was just the sheer number of people. I mean, IKEA has been so gracious to us. Ever since I arrived in St. Louis, it's all people talk to me about, and they've been so excited this coming, and they came out in huge numbers for us. So that was the most exciting thing for me, just seeing the people lined up on Monday and up until Wednesday, and when they broke in the doors and just had a great time. Exactly. You gave away quite a few couches, you did. We sure did. We gave away 41 couches Ooh. and 100 Poe chairs and a hundred of our little fam nick red hearts oh how cool well i got an umbrella because i got to go to the preview <laughs> so when you see me with my blue and yellow umbrella you already know absolutely well i want to know this what i did notice when i went to the preview is that you know when i was in college everybody went to y'all know we had to do our dorm rooms our, our apartments with ikea but i noticed that Maybe the demographic has changed, but it seems a little bit more upscale now. You've got a lot of home furnishings, mm -hmm. not dorm room furnishings. Right. Can you tell me about that? I wouldn't say it's upscale, but what I would say is we're trying to meet as many people as we can. We talk about something called democratic design. We want to embrace as many people, as many pocketbooks, and find a way that everybody can find affordable design good design and live in a nice home. So there is something for a college student, there is something for somebody starting out, but we also want people who are in their 30s, 40s, and 50s to also feel like Ikea can be for them as well. Exactly, and what I love about it is that it's affordable. That's my brand, that's <laughs> everything that I'm about. Right. Now, the other thing I wanted to ask you, how did Ikea ever decide to merge Furniture and food. Not that I'm not that I'm mad about it, because you know I love to eat, and those Swedish <laughs> meatballs are so good. Yes. But how did they decide to do that? When IKEA started out a long time ago, we'd end up in the middle of nowhere because the the, the buildings are so large, oh. they'd be really far outside of the city. It's quite unusual to have an IKEA this close into the city, into the proper city. So uh, we were spread out very far. People would take day trips to come out to IKEA. On average, people can spend between two, yes. three, four hours in the store, and we want to keep them there. So I don't know how many years ago, but they decided they were going to put in a restaurant and serve something very traditional as Swedish meatballs that not only come in meat, but they also come in turkey if you're a vegetarian. Oh, and also, really? well, that's not true. That's not vegetarian. Yeah. But we have vegetarian balls and chicken meatballs and the traditional Oh, meatballs. my director is going to love Absolutely. that. Oh, my goodness. So <laughs> I'm really excited now. And that chocolate is so delicious. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Now, you said something very interesting, that they used to be really far outside the Absolutely. city. And I know a lot of people that used to make day trips to Chicago just Absolutely. to go to the IKEA. And there's, the one is, um, Chicago's kind of downtown too. What's different and unique about the St. Louis location now that we don't have to go there? Right. I mean, the first thing that's most unique about it is the actual place where it's at. Being as close to the city as you are, about four miles outside of the uh, outside of downtown, being as close to the universities as we are, right on the major highway. So that's kind of the first thing that makes it very unique. And that was a strategic unique. decision. Absolutely. I mean, it was a great place for us. It was a great place for the city with the Cortex District and all of that. It was a win-win for everyone. I think it was so smart on, on y'all's part. Absolutely. Um, my family's from Texas, and I love to say y'all. <laughs> okay. So at any rate, please <laughs> forgive me. No, um, but yeah, so the other thing I wanted to ask you, um, what are the trends? What are the current trends in home design, especially kitchens? I think it's, it's we're continuing with this kind of great room idea that mm -hmm. you'd have the whole family together in one room. It's, it's not where you put the kids over there and the parents are over there. People want to be together today. They want to spend time together. They want to be able to spend uh, quality time together because everyone is so busy. So it's larger rooms. It's maybe not more rooms, but it's bigger rooms when possible. So you have a living room, dining room, kitchen combination. And people want big islands where everyone can come over. Everyone loves to stay in the kitchen whenever you have a party. Where do you end up? In the in kitchen. The kitchen around the island and all that sort of thing. So those are what we're still continuing to see as where the trends are headed. In the kitchen, by the food and the drinks. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> How funny is that? How That's... ironic. <laughs> well, you know what? I did love the kitchens. I really, really love the kitchens. I, I mean, just beautiful, beautiful, Thank spacious um, kitchens with the Long Island. Yep. And I, are those cement? Uh, Counters. Counters. We didn't have any cement counters here. We have granite counters, wood counters, and just uh, like laminate counters. Okay, so. well, they look fabulous. Great, thank you. Well, let me just say this. I'm not going to talk about it. Y'all need to get down there if you haven't been already to Ikea. Make it an afternoon of food and shopping, what I love most. And y'all, until next week, you know what time it is. It's time for me to say 
Good night, but make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, let me tell you what I tell them. Okay. Live the high life for low cost and keep your coins in your purse. Ain't that right, Dan? That's fantastic. All right, and don't forget to send me your questions about fashion, beauty, food, and travel to Jabber with Gina at stltv.net.